Let's have a closer look at the clock from the above. The clock consists of two parts. The actual clock over here and the striking mechanism over here. Both parts are weight driven. The motion of the clock is controlled by an asymmetric verge escapement. The clock keeps its time up to only a few seconds per day. The quarter striking mechanism works as follows. This weight wants to go down, but its motion is prevented by a combination of pins, a vertical metal pin and four horizontal red pins in this black wheel. The metal, win, metal pin prevents the, red, the wheel with the red pins from turning. If I lift the metal pin, the striking mechanism can start and it runs until the next red pin reaches the metal pin. This wheel makes one complete turn in a quarter of an hour. In this time it lifts the lever and once the quarter of an hour is completed the lever, will f the lever falls down and lifts the metal pin and the striking mechanism starts. We just heard the striking for a half past, so there were two strikes. Next comes the striking for quarter two, so three strikes. Then, for the full hour, there are four strikes. And for quarter past, only one strike. The time can be adjusted while the clock is running and the clock can be cranked while it is running. 